my toys. Hey, this is D Hunter bringing another action figure review. Today we're going to be looking at the NECA Aliens Snake Alien Kenner tribute figure. This is an absolutely cool looking figure. It looks like he's all sort of spun up here in the packaging. Can't wait to see his tail fully extended. I actually never had the Snake Alien Kenner figure as a kid. It was one of the later waves after I already had and was sort of done with that line. You may notice here I have two of these figures. You can never have too many Xenomorphs. I have to get at least two of every alien, if not more. So let's go ahead and check out the packaging of this guy. First of all, you can see the Aliens movie logo. Just like the Kenner toys, they were sort of movie themed, even though they took their own sort of liberties with the figures. Snake Alien, can't imagine a face hugger actually impregnating a snake, but this apparently would be the end result. Maybe it's Waylon Utani doing DNA experiments. Snake Alien with attack, jaw, and constricting tail. Means he can wrap around somebody, choke them, etc. Nothing really on any of the sides. Does say it comes with a free comic book. Presumably it's the same comic that the original Snake Alien came with. Nothing on the bottom except for the barcode. And on the back, love it when they give us a checklist of all the different figures you can get. And some of the upcoming figures. We've got the Lynn and Dutch arcade figures coming up soon. Can't wait for that two pack. All six of the arcade figures. Some Kenner Predators, and then the majority of the Kenner Aliens down below. So we've been waiting for Series 13 for a really, really long time. Series 12 was Bomber Jacket Ripley, Final Battle Vasquez, and two Battle Damage Aliens. Boy, that seems like a lifetime ago. It had to have been at least 15 months ago when that wave hit. So with no further ado, let's open these guys up and see just how awesome they are. This figure came with a lot of seven figures that I got in the mail today. The Golden Angel Predator, two of the Snake Alien, two of the Scorpion Alien, and two of the Kenner Apone. So now that we got this figure out of the package, here he is with all of his accessories. You may notice he doesn't come with any traditional accessories, just this comic book. I don't actually own the Kenner Snake Alien, and I didn't have him as a kid either, so I can't comment as to if that alien came with any accessories or not. I was a little bit disappointed that neither one of the aliens in this wave came with a face hugger or a chest burster. I think that would have been a lot of fun. I did enjoy the other ones. And I'm almost certain that Scorpion Alien came with a face hugger as a Kenner one. Anyway, I think the first thing I'm going to do before I talk any further is put this guy in a presentable pose. Let's see just how easily that'll be done. Now he does have a bendable wire in the tail. All right, let's see how this works right here. Not too bad. You got to kind of adjust him a little bit. Uh, he's a little bit top heavy and whatnot. This is probably about the best I'm going to get for right now. He's standing pretty straight up. So let's take a quick look at this guy. He's got brown, sort of chrome, copper looking up top mandibles love it all that stuff can move too mouth comes out green on the inside like i said i don't have the original one to compare him to and i wish i did but i don't have his kid either so just looks really nice so far can't wait to check out everything this guy can do and then of course he comes with a comic this is number nine this is going to be a series of comics that the original Kenner Aliens came with. They are sort of to be continued and have all the sort of figures featuring in adventure stories. And here's the comic compared to all the different NECA Kenner homage comics that we've received. We now have 2, 3, 4, 9, 10, 11. I'm definitely under the impression that Kenner, or NECA rather, is going to try to get to all the Kenner stuff ever made over the next many, many years. Next, let's check out the height of this figure. So this figure here that's kind of wrapped up and standing on his own is measuring just about, about 9.25 inches tall. And then you can see here I have the other snake alien completely stretched out as far as he can go. And from one side to the other, he's sitting at... 20 and a half inches. 
Next, let's check out this figure's articulation. And for me, there definitely were some pleasant surprises there. So this guy here, from the top, his head, of course, it's articulated and can move around. It can look, wow, it just keeps going down like that. And then back up pretty straight. He's got these mandibles and they have articulation on them as well. They go up. They can also go out. His jaw, inner jaw, of course, it comes out like a traditional alien. Although it looks really, really weird. Best be assured the Pred Alien is probably going to have some similarly articulated mandibles. Next, his little hands or whatever you want to call these things, arms. Each one of these can move. He can completely stretch open. And then he can sort of reach inside like he's hugging you. I think that's really, really cool. Each one of these is articulated in its own. Can move around like so. They can go inward when they're facing this direction. And if you have them facing like this, then they can go upward. So they have sort of they can move this way. And they also have a hinge that goes inside. He's got a joint right here where the tail can move. And of course the tail itself is on a wire and it's completely bendable. You can see down here, he sort of slither around like a snake. The tail can do kind of whatever you want it to do. Next, I thought to myself, I wonder if there's any reuse from previous alien figures. So I looked at his long, long tail and I thought to myself, you know what, that looks an awfully lot like this. And you know what, rest assured, I'm about 100% sure that is the exact same sculpt attached right here. Next here he is compared with the rest of this Alien Wave Series 13. It has been a really long time since Series 12 came out, well over a year. I'm happy we're finally back on track. Here he is with my entire Kenner Aliens collection of Aliens figures. You can see we've got two gorillas here. There's a mantis here and back here. We've got two of these light blue big chaps that Kenner made many years ago. A black big chap. This is from an Alien vs. Predator Kenner 2-pack. Then we've got the snakes, a couple scorpions as well as a couple queen face huggers below. And then here's the entire NECA Kenner Aliens collection of Aliens figures. Here is NECA's massive queen in an upright position, just so you can see how big and long the snake alien truly is. Next I'll go ahead and compare him with an alien figure from each of the alien films. First, here he is next to the original Big Chap figure. And then here's the snake alien compared to all of my aliens, xenomorphs. We've got five blue, five brown, and three black. Here he is next to some alien three dog aliens, at least the movie accurate color ones. You can see them standing at their full height and crouching on the ground. Here he is next to some older McFarlane Alien Resurrection figures. NECA hasn't done their version of the Alien Resurrection Warrior yet, but that's coming real soon in Series 14. And then here he is compared to a bunch of Alien vs. Predator Warriors. Here he is next to an older NECA Aliens vs. Predator Requiem Warrior. They're going to be revisiting that figure, I believe, in Series 15 unless the alien 40th anniversary figures push that a little bit further back. Here he is next to a couple of deacons from Prometheus. And last but not least, here he is next to a bunch of alien covenant warriors. Here he is next to a couple of ultimate predator figures. Here he is next to a couple of engineer figures. Here's a snake alien next to the trilobite from Prometheus. I remember this thing wrapping itself around the engineer, kind of snake-like in the film. 
And then next to some hammerpeeds from Prometheus, which are snake-like in their own way. And then here he is fighting a few colonial marines. And then he can definitely wrap around your marine figures and be ready to devour them. Here he is doing his thing, eating the remains of some marine. And then just because here he is next to a couple of Copperhead DC figures, these are definitely snaked themed figures. All in all, I must say I'm very pleased with this figure. A lot more than I expected to be. I thought this figure was kind of like, and eh, I really need a snake alien. It's nothing movie related. Just an homage to a figure I didn't care to get as a kid because it feel, felt like it was unnecessary. But this guy's detail, his abilities, stuff you can do with him, the way he looks, his articulation, just everything about him is very impressive. I must say, if I were to rate this figure, I'd give it a 7 out of 10, and that is way higher than I ever expected. So, this is D Hunter. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked the video, press like below. If you have anything you want to say about the video, type it in the comments below. If you want to see additional videos from me, press subscribe. Thank you again for watching this video. This is D Hunter. I'll talk to you guys real soon. Watch the reviews I have on the rest of this wave.